as a now. That's right. <laughs> We're starting. It's another beautiful day in the flotilla arc of Pyrethal. I'm joined here. Me, Boosh slash Connor slash your DM this evening. Uh, I'm joined here today by the lovely Steph playing Barrow. The lovely Austin playing Bunker. The lovely Tom playing Hal. And the lovely Ben playing Brecken. Hello. Uh, so, last night, or last time... It was boys' night, uh, where boys, boys. the boys, which meant uh, Brecken, Bunker, and Hal, uh, went to do some kraken hunting while Barrow was dealing with their uh, unconscious uh, ne'er do well, uh, trying to cure them, uh, and Ari is way busy with trying to make your bus fly and add weapons to it. So. Uh. Yeah, no, it's an interesting, uh, interesting time. I know you guys, uh, managed to, uh, banish well, not only did you defeat the Sand Kraken, but a party was held in town due to the removal of that guy. You know, the NPC that you have we have all forgotten the name of, but... Was... Yeah, that's never got his name. Yep, and that's how it's going to be. He was on the unwanted list, you see, where no one wanted him. There was a reward to make him go away. Um, but bes despite that, um, the party, uh, is currently, uh, you know, I like, I'm going to say it's like the wee hours of the morning. Bunker is getting back. He's, uh, a few drinks in, uh, mm. you know, Brecken and Hal, uh, you're, you're with, I'm assuming you guys are with Bunker. Uh, but we're going to cut to Burrell. Uh, Burrell. Uh, for this next part. Uh. What, what would you like to do with your boy here who is... Currently, uh, how do I put it? Uh, you're, you're patient. How are you helping them, if you will? Um, right now I haven't done anything with them. I've just kept them in, like, stasis with time magic. Well, I've thought about what to do. When did you want to talk to the others about this? Um. I mean, if they're all drinking the night, then maybe tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh. So. The next morning. Uh. You know what? You all are a bunch of hardy guys. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming uh, none of you got a, a a might die of a D6, so I'm going to stay. Uh, it's morning. You're eating your breakfast. Uh... Ari has been in crackhead engineer mode for the past three days. Honestly, you're not sure if it's worth bothering them and maybe to just head out and take care of the of the ghost ship today. I brought them a bunch of waffles. 
Um, um, waffle sandwich. Waffle sandwich. It's like waffle sandwich. All right. Oh, well, if they want to, if they want to make a waffle sandwich, that's up to them. Yep. But the, but what Tom <laughs> yeah. has made is waffles. I've made them waffles. All right. At least with the protein. After you're done dropping off, like you literally like bring it to the door, and and uh, one of the mechanic, mechano guild members, looks at you. And they're like squinting at you because this is the probably the first bit of light they've seen, in a while. What do you want? What do you want here? I'd say I'm here to drop off these waffles. For who? Say Ari. Okay. He takes the waffles and closes the door on you. Um. I. I shrug my shoulders, and and I walk back to the bus. What? All right. So. Uh, wait, wait. I, I make another thing of waffles. I go back and I knock on the door again. You open the door, the guy is even more... Why are you back? I say, you kind of seemed like you needed some waffles. I, I give him some waffles, too. He stares at the waffles. He's holding the plate. He looks confused, then looks up at you. Thanks. <laughs> then closes the door. I go back to the bus. To make more waffles for your friends who are getting up. <laughs> so, it's breakfast. Uh, by the way, the inside of the bus is looking more manac- uh, um, immaculate if you will, uh, thanks to Hal's spell that he has on this place that increases the inside area. It's got that, it's got that, that, that inside water feature of a waterfall that when you get up real close to it, you realize it's not actually water, it's just sand, but it looks really cool. God forbid that this uh, spell get on here gets dispelled. Or else you're just going to get a lot of sand on the floor. Uh, but yeah. Uh, bro, you see all the boys sitting down eating breakfast. Uh, now's your chance to tell them. Can we talk about... Um... I don't think I have a name. It's been so long since just a actually minion. happened. I don't think he had a name. Mm. Hold on, you got you have to specify what guy. Um. I mean, uh, Hal, Hal remembers because uh, he feels responsible for it. He's like, "How are they doing?" Okay. They're, they're stable, but how? I don't know how you did it after I've been trying for so long you accidentally did something I hate you I say like what you found a way to bring another one of me alive another No, how things for a moment my species and then says so is it inside of him yes <laughs> that's what we established it's not how what was it connor like it's not it's in our larval state basically all right i tell them that and I, um... You basically explain that whatever dark magic he's doing 
has the potential to bring creatures like Barrow from their world into this plane. And I'll, I'll think about it for a little bit. Um, and he says, hey. well, that's pretty dangerous. I wonder if that's why my shadow keeps talking to me. Probably, Wait, but your listen, shadow I... talks to you. It is not, not usually. All our shadows talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't therapy, uh, Rickett. This is like magic. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Hal's got a but, shadow demon attached to him, and and and, and Brecken just hears voices. <laughs> no, no, I think I, you're I'm actually about. possessed. You're schizophrenic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, Bro was saying about um, to say something. Yeah, it's. I thought since you guys took my truth. Um, surprisingly well that I would be honest with you this time. I... Uh, uh, how, does it, how does it feel to tell the truth? It's not the first time I've done it. It's just... It's nice. I'm really nervous, though. Um, I think that happens. How is that? Thank you, bro. Uh, this is, in a lot of ways, my fault. Uh, and, and you being honest, now we can we can work on a solution together. The first we, thing we should do is probably get uh, your kinsman out of that person's body. Can we do that? Or... Bro? I say, well, we do have an extra body lying around. Do we? I pull out the dead janitor that we found in that janitor's closet, the mummy. God. It's been in the it's been in the magical refrigerator. Jesus we had. Christ! I forgot that was there. Oh, did this, did this happen? Did this happen? When I've I wasn't here? I've been carrying a reserve body for just <laughs> such a purpose. Al said. Oh why, God! Why are you? No, there's a... Why are you really? Uh, I was a little bit worried that, bro, your body might, you know, get exploded, and we need to put you in something else. Uh, but this body that you've currently got is pretty tough. Um, but in terms of how to actually move them, I have no idea the correct process to do that. Look, this I'm is not almost used... sweet in a fucked up way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just what. Look, when I kill people, I leave them where they are. Let nature take its course. I don't fucking store them in a storage freezer like a psychopath. I like to imagine uh, Bunker has. Al just... says, Al says, no, 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 no. We brought him along because he's a he's an archaeological discovery. It's not grave robbing once he had about like two hundred years. <laughs> then it's archaeology. Um, that depends. Did anyone write it down in the name of science or history? Uh, Hal did. He, I remember. Uh, I don't remember dude. exactly what I said, but I think are I remember I like, sent someone a letter about Hal. it. Al, are, 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 are you an archaeologist? That's the real question. Wait, sorry, what'd you say? Are you an archaeologist, Hal? <laughs> Hal uh, <laughs> says, I'm pretty sure we're all archaeologists. No, we're treasure hunters. Totally different story. <laughs> I say they're basically the same. Uh, anyway, you guys, uh, you guys watched me put it in here. You didn't have any questions about it then. I, I like to, to I'm, I'm, I just like to imagine just Bunker just getting up in the morning, grabbing some potatoes out of the freezer, completely <laughs> ignoring the fucking mummy that was shoved in there. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? There we go. <laughs> Uh, like, uh, like no, the, the mummy. For some reason, there's actually, like, some for sometimes, uh, the mummy's actually holding things. Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. Uh, it, it's hey, also hell, specifically the, that orange juice. Why the mummy isn't even uh like of our species? It's from an ancient species. 
disrespectful. So, just to answer <laughs> Barreau's question, it's kind of possible. It would suck for the creature in it. It could certainly animate it. But it wouldn't have much of a brain to work with. And developmentally, it's probably not the healthiest option. Oh, yeah, they prefer live. They, they live hosts, yeah. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, no. It would be uh, a temporary fix to a long term problem. Um. Huh. If we well, can find someone more horrible that you guys are okay. What? what? Well, I mean, I mean. Look, out of everybody for it to end up in, uh, this guy being one of them, uh, like, out of character, is probably the best. Yeah, he's, um, an, he's an asshole. Yeah. He's an asshole. <laughs> uh, in character, uh, Hal asks, like, well, like, what if we, like, put him in an animal? Would that work? Again, the brain is... <laughs> It will act like an animal with magical powers. Mm. I don't know, Lucky, what do you think? As an animal with magical powers. Uh. Lucky. Yeah, no. Look, I'll be, I'll be honest, uh. I kind of want to be out of the room. No offense, Bro, it's just my instinct. But I, I'm real hungry, and it's okay. right there. Well, if things don't go the way they want, you can have a snack. The, the mummy. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said he said it looks tasty. No, not yeah, the mummy. I... The 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 larva in there. <clears throat> My okay. species is basically here to. Oh yeah, the no, Ebarrow that... species. Oh yeah, no, that that's that's why I wanted your opinion. Uh, My opinion okay. is I shouldn't have one in this. This isn't. I this is this is a terrible place to have me in right now. No offense, <laughs> Barrow. I think you're quite lovely. I've grown. Oh, I've grown I attached. I just thought you would have. Same, lucky. All right then. Well, L lucky would like lucky would like to eat it if he could. Uh, so that's an option. Bro, Brecken saying that so casually is horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, could we try and send it back? No, it only pulls out. Yeah, if you, if you knew how to... It pulls out of the void, not into... Yeah. Going into the void is actually harder than one might think. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me on that. So, uh... Hmm. Hal says, well, we have two lives currently. In order to save one, it would kill the other. Uh, that's not an easy solution. Maybe uh, Hal says, isn't... I was planning on trying to bind my shadow uh, that's been speaking to me um, into an arcanum in order to control that power. You, you know, maybe if I can do that, uh, we could do the same thing with this guy. Have it be that both of them could live in the same body. He says, has anything like that ever been tried before? Burrow, um, not of your knowledge. No. Look, this is an endangered species you're bringing back. Mm -hmm. And I've been thinking about this, uh, this wish we're supposed to get. 
obviously I wanted to use it to bring back my species because I'm just so <laughs> lonely. Um, it's hard to explain. You guys are great, but... But if we could use the wish a different way, we could save the, the planet, the sandstorms, more space for people to stop fighting as much. We, I could find another way to bring my species back and we could go and live alone and I don't know, maybe take people's worst criminals. The allies with other nations. That uh, is a magical power. It was one thing, but then it started kind of getting weird. Yeah, now this turned into a completely <laughs> different covered uh, topic. Um, of, uh, Al says, you, well, maybe, maybe what we should do is try and find a way for your species to come to our world without needing to take over a person's body. Bro, that's the silliest thing you've ever heard in your entire life. <laughs> she vocally met, says she vo they vocally yeah. said that's the silliest thing that's I've ever heard. Quite silly. <laughs> uh, forget that other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, Connor, what? Uh. What would be my character's thought process about trying to uh, consolidate the power that is currently pseudo-possessing me into an Arcanum? What does that look like? Um, you, now knowing that this, your power is, uh, you drank some sort of void concoction, and now... Oh, microdosed it. You microdosed a void concoction. Until it was all gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you basically either have a presence that is making a portal from the void to here, inside you, uh, in a me magical, metaphysical sense, or, uh, potentially, you two, like Bro, have a creature inside you who is not as kind as Bro. So, how do I bind it to make myself stronger? Hal thinks to you, himself. Uh, you have, uh, no idea. You can try rolling an insight, but it's a very high check. Yeah, why not? Nope. Yeah, no, no, no ideas. You... You, your options right now is you can either, you know, dispel the creature inside this guy, killing the larval form of bro species here, um, while it's inside this, uh, this criminal. Um, you can let the larva do its thing. Or, uh, you can just keep this guy in stasis, uh, forever. <laughs> so, with, you know, basically time stopping. If we him. keep him, if we keep him in stasis for a little bit, um, the, the larva won't grow? Yeah. Because right now... Bro, you would know that it is in his tummy. If once it awakes, or at least somewhere in his uh, his fuck uh, his torso, once it awakes and gets the maturity, 
They will wrap around the spine. Uh, you know, move upwards through his organs. Crawl to the base of the spine. And sort of replace it. Where it attaches that little area between the brain stem and the spinal cord. So... I wish you hadn't given them all that gruesome detail. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh... I like to imagine Barreau would say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Just like really excited. Yeah. Like, this is how my culture is. <laughs> this is this my culture. Um, Hal says, well, I, I have some information that's unrelated uh, that I should probably also fill you guys in. Um, on I uh, mm. I ran into one of my contacts with the uh, with the resistance and uh, that big battle that uh, we picked up uh, our healer from. Uh, apparently, the emperor was physically taking part in that battle, um, mm. and he might be missing. Mm. Uh. Interesting. Yeah. No, um, and that the the leader yeah, of the resistance probably perished in that battle too. To be to be uh, honest, though, uh, when I was uh, setting into uh, that uh, one port up north, I I heard rumors of a lot of uh, airships going around, and uh, that explains. No, the you high literally of saw you literally saw those airships. Yeah, I literally saw those airships while riding back, so... Oh, by the way, uh, Bro, you know that one guy we had hostage? Uh... Sure. Yeah, he's gone now. He, he's taking the bait for the Empire for us. Don't worry. They won't go after us now, just him. <laughs> What is, think. Uh, I'm very curious now. What did you do? Oh, no, I just left his ass in town. Well, outskirts of town. <clears throat> or in the middle of the desert, as close as I could get. I didn't want to risk getting caught by the Empire, you know. The large opposing Empire. Um, <clears throat> when, I, uh, when I bring up about the uh, the Emperor possibly being missing... Uh, what does, um, Zane say? Zell? Zell is sleeping. Hmm? Zell? Oh. I wake him up. Uh, uh, what? Did I we, say, did hey. Get that? Is that worm still in the guy? I might have it's... one in me, too, but that's unrelated. Uh, um. What? Yeah, so we're talking about... Uh, you remember that big battle that we picked you up in in the aftermath? Yeah. Well, there's reports that the the emperor might be missing. Oh shit. Were you were you on the emperor's ship when it went down? Um. I was in my room. I don't know if the emperor was on that ship. That's very. He says, "Have you ever seen the emperor?" No. Yeah. Hal says, are we sure there is even an emperor if no one's seen him? Yeah, not as much as what I argue with you. I, he's never really came down to the colonies to grace us common folk at that much, if at all. Um, can can Brecken do a quick memory thing? Can, can, can we just re remember something really quick? Uh, where, where do we find Zal again? You found him on the outskirts of Face Cliff. Uh, was, not really the outskirts, and more of a destroyed building in Face Cliff, ass in the air, uh, butt naked. And what was uh? He said he was a family of family mages. Like what? What was it again? Do we? Did he ever say what? What the? No, he never was? said. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, I'm done. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like, well, if, uh, I never really got to see him, but if, uh, if I do, I'll tell you about it. I mean, how close were you with the Emperor, Zal? Um, not really. Not at all, actually. Okay. You know what? I saw him, like, a few times. At least the old one. I don't really know much about this new guy. Wait, the, wait, the son's the emperor? I, I assume since there's been a new emperor, there was an older guy who was the emperor about... The, the new one took over, like, five years ago. After the old one died. The old one used to have the statues everywhere. And, you know, they usually replace the statues with the new emperor. And the new emperor hasn't put up any new statues. So. Huh. No one knows what he looks like. Can I, I uh... Can I... I uh, ask him if okay. I gave him a dead body. Like, even if he couldn't necessarily resurrect it, could he fix it up so that way it was like new? That's going to take a lot of magical time. I wouldn't be able to bring him back. How long has he been dead? Uh, <laughs> I say, uh, when did the ancient empire disappear? Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, I could restore the body, but I wouldn't be able to, you know, bring back the dead. I, 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 I give him the mummy and I say, let us know when you're done. Um, Why is it cold? I say, well, we were preserving it. I'll do what I can. Thanks a bunch, buddy. He, uh with a shit ton of healing magic basically restores this mummy or at least what this person was uh, to what they look like and now I have to make art for this mummy <laughs> and now we know what the ancient uh, civilization people looked like um I'm gonna let you guys customize this guy real quick. So I will let you know he has round round ears. Like an actual like a human. <sighs> However, uh you guys can decide the gender what 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 they look like. I would say they're all shriveled so shriveled up that we cannot tell anymore. Well, no, they've been No, 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 they've been, they've, they've been, it's been repaired. Uh, they've yeah, been Zal, Zal managed to somehow repair it. He looks exhausted uh, after doing this. By the way, um, is it possible, uh, was it possible to, like, tell if he was, um, hiding anything during his, uh, emperor, during his emperor descriptive stuff? Um, roll me insight plus willpower. Um. Uh, yeah, you're not able to tell. Damn, even even what even with a higher die, I'm just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> a great judge of character you are, Brecken. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> bro, this could potentially be the like it can it's restored to a point where it would actually be a suitable host. You're not sure what the brain's going to be like after this. But it's better than... Uh, these are actively the... This is actively a person that used to, you know, probably, you know, assisted in creating stuff to actually destroy your kind. So, you know... Uh, um, is there any, like, so the, the ancient species looks pretty much like 100% human. Is there any, any other things about them that, that would differentiate them? 
Uh, not really. All right, guys. I think I know what this mummy should look like. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna find a good picture to post. Bro, bro do you have an opinion on this? And I want you guys to let me know what you think. Wait, is this in character or is this out of character? Oh, no, this is out of character. In or out of character? What, what's Burrow's thoughts on this? Um, if she's starting to think Hal's not going to... Probably wouldn't let, just use the bandit. Um, so you this is too. the second best yeah. option. So or uh, maybe it. maybe we should take the one out of Hal to put it in here and leave the bandit still in stasis. We don't know if there's one in you. That's true. We should probably find that out. Yeah. Um, Can I find true. that out? You're gonna have to roll me uh, a double insight uh, here. Or if you want to use your book of shadows you could just do that. Yeah, I use my my grimoire. Yeah. So that just increases my insight die, though. Yeah, but when you dismiss it, you get to ask a question that I have to answer honestly. Oh right. Okay, I don't know if I want to dismiss it <laughs> right now. Uh, if you want to just inspect him, go ahead. Yeah. Roll me a, a double insight. Oh god. Tom wants this fucker to look like Danny DeVito. Guys, what if what if we bring back demon Danny DeVito? Oh, Guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise you one better. Um, you... Do you want to use a fabulous point there? Yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out. What? This. Oh. My fucking That's George. also really good. George Costanza. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was reborn. <laughs> All right, I say what we should do is we should say. <sighs> no, I think George Costanza's better. Let's do that. Steph, you're welcome to use a fabulous point to undo all our decisions. <laughs> well, well, this is this yeah, is an out of party decision. Uh, you just you just outvote us, you know. Yeah. Well, first off, it's, it's... you're inspecting how. Well, uh, if you're using a fabula point, what are you? What trait are you invoking? Um, my own traits. Or you can invoke uh your bonds with Hal. Whatever they may be. I have admiration for Hal. All right, that'll give you a plus one, so that's an eight. Yeah, I would probably try and do a reroll uh, yeah, since uh, you can just reroll that one. You're pretty much guaranteed to get yeah, something better. Just have to pick a trait that you're invoking. My knowledge of the void, my void trait. All right, roll, uh, reroll that one, I guess. <laughs> Uh, room. Oh shit! Okay. Nice. Hell yeah. Bro, with your book of shadows activated, uh, you have Hal sit down, and you sort of take your finger and sort of make a magical circle with it to take a basically a magical X-ray of him. Oh, puts up the peace sign as it moves over him. Yep. Uh, and everything gets real quiet except for 
what is inside of Hal. And you see, it's a creature like you, but a different species. Still from the void. However, this guy here, uh, is only halfway through. And it looks kind of like a mosquito. Like a like a cat-sized mosquito. <laughs> Currently just made of energy right now. Not able to fully manifest inside of Hal. And he's just sort of cursing the entire time. God damn No, like, I want to be free. I want to get out. Stop pushing against me. What? <laughs> Wait. Why doesn't he hear me? I'm trying... Uh, if he heard me, I'd be able to pull myself... Wait. Something else can hear me. And... It the creature looks at you. What do you want? Are you here to help me? What? I'm talking to you, worm. And I don't. I don't say anything. I'm just how. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there is something in there. Not, not mine, though. Oh, uh, so, um, does that mean that it can survive outside of me? Uh, I don't, I don't know the species. I don't know what it will do I'm, I'm actually once gonna, it breaks through. Uh, bro, because that's a 16... You actually do know what it is. Okay, what what is it? Because you, you fucking... Uh, it is... Uh, so your species is known as a ghoul. Uh, you know, the ghoul. This is a, a, a vamp. Uh, this, uh, this species... Uh, likes to consider itself stronger than yours more charismatic but you kind of do the same thing of taking over corpses um and uh his powers are a little bit more different but you know similar similar niches that you guys do and with the 16, you can tell that he is not fully inside of Hal. He's not even fully physical like you are in this world. Yeah. He is stuck in a portal in between realms. Between Void and the material. And because he's, you know, stuck, other creatures, like your little worm friends that are uh, ghoul, uh, ghoul worm, uh, is actually was able to, you know, transfer out of the portal when his power spiked. Was able to fit through a small enough hole. Get out of Hal and infect uh, that one uh, that one guy who stays before you in stasis. This guy is just a little prick who's stuck in between worlds right now. So, um, just to clarify, because this guy got stuck in a portal between realms, the other ghoul worm was able to transfer through the portal. In yeah, they basically squeezed themselves through. <clears throat> okay. A lot of creatures like leaving the void because it gives and, them the chance to be material. And the other ghoul worm transferred to who? Uh, the guy that's currently in stasis. 
I uh, I asked Bro if she thinks that since he's not all the way through, could we actually push him back? Uh, Bro, you're not entirely sure. I'm not sure, but only the um, ancients really knew how to push into the void. Yeah. So my guess is so that we don't we could, know yet how to do we that. We could ask, um, um, yeah, I mean, I guess what we could do is we could try and, um, just, like, do a ritual and see if we can force it back in. And give it a go. All right. What do you think? Uh, bro, a ritual like that would take an extremely long amount of time. And would cost... Uh, like it would cost 50 MP to do and it would be another a different check in order to perform it um, how long um it is a clock 8 uh but you know it would take a day basically Uh, Hell says, well, uh, as long as it's stuck, it probably won't be a problem. And the yeah, ghost ship is a lot closer. Don't answer so. its whispers. That makes it stronger, I think. Uh, can I answer it sarcastically? No. <laughs> don't acknowledge <laughs> it. Um... <laughs> uh, Hell says, well, in that case, we should go take care of that ghost ship, because it's going to, like, crash into the town pretty soon. Mm, and then once we yeah. do that, we'll have a little bit of open time for us to try and surgically remove um, uh, this guy. I'll just try and, you know, keep him under wraps until then. Uh, real, real quick, Steph. Yeah. Um, the the body that uh, Zal restored. Zal's willing to do the transfer, if you will. A bit of magical surgery here. Uh, on your behalf. Uh, I just want to know. Before this guy ends up looking like George Costanza. Uh, well, you cut out a bit there. I apologize. What did you want your, uh, your, can, your guy to look like before he ends up looking like George Costanza? Was it George Costanza who won? Were we, all, we were voted between George Costanza and Danny DeVito. Yeah. Well, you you so could also like... suggest another option if you wanted to. Yeah. No, uh, there's no other option. Are you uh, sure? I mean, are if you we want absolutely... someone more corpse like, we could use uh, fucking uh, Gary Busey. But I know that's not a popular uh, choice. <laughs> um, that's also a really good choice. <laughs> he's a bit corpsey. He's. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the other option that. is to do, um, like, uh, since the guy was, like, you know, like a, a janitor, like, picking uh, picking a janitor from uh, from a TV series could also work. There's a couple of pretty good I, ones. I want to offer the janitor uh, from Scrubs. I like yeah, he was one that I was also thinking of. I was thinking Don't. of a janitor from Ned to classify. What about William Defoe? Yeah. He's a bit corpsey. You could go the other way and just have him be like 
uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's just like incredibly buff. Someone did a curse edit. Oh, I'm sorry. Did some AI fuck? I looked at images of William Defoe, and someone did an AI thing of like William Defoe, but with Steve Buscemi's eyes. It's the curse fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think all of these would be good picks. I'm looking at this image, and it's like I don't know how you can be smooth and wrinkly at the same time. But this guy my votes right. for that one. Okay, so it looks like Willem Dafoe with <laughs> Super Chevy <laughs> side. <laughs> Just because I need to see you try and draw this, Connor. God damn it. So, so here's, uh, so Zal shows you his handiwork. He's basically took what is a rotted corpse and using a fucking humongous amount of magic just, uh, repaired it to life. And he's like, I got some more juice in me. I could definitely try to do the transfer for you here. I, uh... Uh, you guys, go handle the ghost ship. This is gonna take me a bit. Um, Baro would like to be there for the whole transfer. Right. I, I, I need... I think I need to be here for the whole transfer. I can I can do the transferring part here, but there's also, you know, me trying to fix up the other guy. And we don't know when this larval form is going to hatch, you know? Armature, <laughs> so. Uh, mm. You stay for the chan transfer. Zell does it. He looks grossed out the entire time and very upset. <laughs> but ew, 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 it's dripping on the floor, ew. And he inserts uh his worm. Uh and in inserts uh this worm. into uh into your mummy the 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 rehydrated mummy <laughs> the other guys healed both are unconscious right now it's sometime in the late at or at least you know mid afternoon <laughs> Okay, I would like to deal with the the ghost ship fast because Barreau doesn't want to be away from them for very long. All right. All right, let's go. We've still got the uh, uh, the giant lizards. Yep. Oh, um, I'm gonna spend some money because I lost one of the one of the shoes. Uh, the one guy he lost one of the shoes for my sand shoes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna replace the missing show. All right, that's fifty Zanero. Or you can just buy a new pair. Nah, I just I just want the same one show. Stroganoff is like, but I only have one pair now. Who who's going to need just one pair? A one man, a one legged man walks into the building. I dropped my other shoe. My other flotilla flop, if someone could please help me. Anyway. Oh, uh, I split it with him. Yep. You take, you take the one shoe and just take it and just rip it in half and like, here you go, bud. <laughs> Thank you. I only had half a foot. <laughs> Looks so like he has both legs. He just has like, <clears throat> a leg ripped in half. But uh, only like... God, I would 
suck to have one leg, but it's not because you have one leg. It's because your legs were cut in half, but vertically. <laughs> anyway, so it's each. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that has to be. Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move on from this one. All right. So, I'm assuming you guys want to head towards the ghost ship. Uh, yep, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, I guess. By the way, have you guys... I've never should debate if we fought ghosts before. We fought zombies. Um, real quick, uh, in terms of stroking off items, uh... You want to buy something. All right. Was there a holy item thing? Um. Is there any holy items? The Stroganoff head? Uh, I don't think there's anything on that document that's like that. No. Um, no. No holy, okay. holy swords or anything like that. It's a pure. Raw. You probably could get like one of the like the weapon salves if you wanted to like add radiant damage to your weapon or something. Do you want? Yeah, can I get one of those? Do you just? Do you just yeah. uh, I was just gonna say, did you want to borrow the sword of will? It's light damage. Yeah, but I also up my strength. What does it use? Willpower. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'll take the uh Bunker radiant. has very little willpower. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could buy the gun of soaking and then just fill it up with holy water. <laughs> I don't know if holy water exists in this universe, but You've never met anybody who makes it. <laughs> yeah. No. So that means it exists. <laughs> All right. So, you guys head off on your dash dragons. After a few hours of travel, you see the ship in the distance. Um, so, first part of the, let me see this. All right. As you approach the ship, cannon fire starts getting blasted towards you. Um... Uh, okay. He basically maneuvers, not gonna lie. Yeah. If I could have... Uh... It's one... The cannonball in question is actually heading straight towards Hal. If I... Uh, I use counter... Uh, can I use, uh... Actually have a counter ability for the cannonball. Crossfire. All right. Um. Uh. It's a ranged attack. I just need to use nine point. What's the roll of the cannonball? And I just need to make an accuracy. Actually, oh, I just need to spend nine points. Okay, this is strange. But uh, anyway. if you select it, you can see it. It's like white. Oh, I have to turn it to light mode. Okay. Yeah, no, it's weird. Yeah. The sheets only work well with white mo light mode. Um, is this is this like an attack roll that it's doing, or is it like an effect that I'd have to roll something against? Originally, I, I was going to have it be an effect you would have to roll to dodge out of the way. But, because Austin can do this... <laughs> you want to have a roll an, accurate, an accuracy check? 
Because maybe maybe it'll just miss. No, I'm gonna say this counters the effect, but Austin has to keep rolling the accuracy check. I'm sorry. Oh uh, wait. Spend the oh wait, it's the mind points. Yes, it's um, mind points. So how many mind points does this cost me? Give me, give me a second here. Also, I'm gonna say about like two radiant of that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna say the first attack misses. How? Okay, it's a roll. Okay, so it's seven. I have to spend seven. No, 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 no. Because seven, seven doesn't hit. Yeah, me. seven doesn't hit. Okay. All right. Uh, more cannons fire. Um. And uh, with that, um, okay. Next one head uh, a shot heads towards Burrow. Let's okay. Seven. Yeah, the f the the ship might be used to firing upon other ships. You guys are kind of smaller targets. I don't think that hits. That doesn't and, hit. Yeah. Uh, this time it throws a different thing. Uh, out, but this time towards Brecken. Uh, you see the big torch at the front of the ship. Oh light up further and then a big poof come out of it uh -huh. you see that poof of fire go up in the air yeah. and sort of arc down towards you Oof. uh brecken this is against your magic defense okay i win you win yes my magic defense is now 13 Okay, so you managed to uh, evasive maneuver around this creature, uh, around this, you know, uh, you know, basically, yeah, yeah, uh, making the flame, uh, you know, avoiding the flame hitting down on you, and you guys are getting closer. Uh, This time, it's this is going to be uh, a new cannon comes out and starts doing rapid fire. This is a multi attack against uh, Bunker, Hal, uh -huh. and Burrow. It's a ranged attack. All right. Wow, he's rolling like dog shit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So it fires at you, and you manage. Your lizards are on fucking point to today, just weaving yeah. and dodging out of uh, the spray of 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 projectiles here. Of a lizard. Uh, and you get closer. Uh, as we're getting closer, can I activate my Arcanum? Uh, which one? Uh, Oasis. Okay. So you get closer, uh, you activate your Arcanum. Let me see how many times I've rolled here. One, two, three, four. It's going to shoot another, uh, big burst from the, from the turret. Uh, the big torch here. It's heading right towards you, Hal. Seven. 
17 versus Magic Defense. Yeah, uh, that's... All right. And that's going to do um, 11. Let me see. How many... You want to try and shoot that one out, Bunker? Or did you... Uh, is that um, too much uh, uh, MP for you? How much? 17. Okay. Uh, I'll do it. This is actually a magical attack. Oh, then never mind. Yeah, I apologize. That would not be able to be subject to the counterattack. That uh, multi-attack earlier would have been yeah. subject to the to things, but no. Uh, how? Uh, I'm going to say... Oh, this was the... Hal, you are the first one. Uh, you get engulfed by flames and disappear completely. What's there, what? Oh, jeez. That's great. Hal died. Oh, what do I say? Uh... Well, I'm going to focus on the others real quick. Uh, the rest here. Uh, as you get closer and closer to the ship, um, your vision all starts to become fuzzy. And... All of you black out. And hell, we're going to focus on you first. Sounds good. Hell, you wake up in a nighttime desert. Um, and how you see a reflection, uh, sort of manifest basically of yourself. Like I'm looking at myself? Yes. It looks like you. And he looks mad. Uh, can 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 you please do we have a do we have a, a, a how token to put put down in, into the center? I then... can certainly try to find one here for you. Thank you. Uh, does he does he look like me entirely, or is there any 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 differences? Carbon copy. Uh, but you yeah. know you are you, and he is. Not you. Mm hmm. I, uh, so I, I, uh, I pull out a coin and I, I, I say heads or tails and I flip it. I haven't looked at the answer yet. I'm waiting for his response. Is this just a joke? He says, well, you're definitely not me. And I, I pocket the coin and I take out my axe. Uh, what, what are you going to do? You're going to try to kill you? I can certainly try. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Hal says, I've, got, I've come pretty close to doing that already a couple of times. So. You're no kidding. You're gonna you're gonna overdo it one day, you know. Um, uh Hal says, uh you <laughs> you should have guessed heads or tails. 
and I swing at him. You swing and he's not there anymore, and then you feel yeah. a tap on your back. Uh, Hal uh, puts his puts his axe away, turns around, and was like, "I had a feeling you weren't really there." You gonna calm down? No, Hal says, "Well, um, like I am trying to attack a giant ghost ship. Seems like." Now is probably the time to be a little bit on edge. Say so I was just attacked by a bunch of swirling fire. Woke up here. So I I think uh, going into survival mode is fair, don't you? You need to start thinking more practically, Hal. And, uh, who are you to, uh, to be judging me again? You always think you're going to be able to save everyone, and you can't, Hal. You tried to do it with those guys earlier. One had to be sacrificed. It's a matter of time. It's, you're going to fail. It's happened before. Look at Trag. Trag can make his own decisions, Hal says. All what I could do is, is offer my assistance in any way I can. I'm sorry, if the rest of the party was here, all I could imagine, of like, that's not Hal. He's not absurdly optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> to the point of it being dangerous. <laughs> God. Um, um, Hal, uh... Hell kind of like starts to like look around and is like, "Well, you can either help, you can either uh, continue to lecture me. I'm not going to listen, uh, or you can help me get out of here." Roll me uh, insight plus willpower. Can do thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. So, this, uh, it shows you, uh, a memory here, Hal, specifically of, uh, when your, uh, when your town got destroyed by the Empire. Uh, You saw, uh, you sort of helplessly looked on as Trag got hit by one of the Empire's mages with a blast of fire. Or at least, uh, one of the Empire's, uh, mechs using a, uh, the magic reversal thing that you've seen. It, it basically... Tried trying to blast this thing with fire magic and only to be blasted back severely. And you think on that. And you come to uh, an epiphany that this thing is using my memories and feelings against me. It's trying to make me wallow. And that's not how. It was pretty obvious that this was a fake. And it's even more obvious now. Boy, um, I, I, I turn to the to the to the not how and I say, I see these images every day. Uh, every time I close my eyes, uh, you showing them isn't going to break me here. I uh, I attempt to use my um, uh, my Oasis teleport to just move to a new location, just in order to try and see if I can 
break it out by uh, uh, if I can just get out of the range of whatever it is. And you do. Appearing in this room here. Uh. Uh, you. Hal, you're sort of, uh. Roll me, uh, double willpower real quick. Eight. Okay. You are shaken, uh, for the, uh, for this, uh, for the next two scenes. Uh, I'm sorry, not shaken, uh, dazed is the word I was looking for. I apologize. What does dazed do? Uh, decrease your insight by one step. Okay. So, you s look around this large sort of chamber here. You're not sure uh, I'm gonna, where you are. I'm gonna use most likely. Two, two of my um, Go ahead. my IP to down one of those uh, potions to get rid of the uh, the dazed. All right, you do so. Uh. And how, uh, you're not sure where you are. It's most likely the ghost ship. Um, roll me double insight real quick. Ten. All right. And that's going to lead to our next person. Uh, Bunger. Yeah. Uh, Bunger, you see yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bunger. You see yourself looking back at you. Oh, I'm this pretty sure his name field. is Brecken. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's the fucking <laughs> I got I, I don't I don't know what caused it that it like changed the name on all of them for it, but it's a bit for me that never gets old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like yeah. Brecken! Okay, I'm so glad I found you. Oh, thank God. Uh, wait, am I seeing the weird fucking background as well, or...? Yes. Um, yes. We are I'm, all seeing... I'm not... Okay, I'm yeah, just... Oh, let me just move. Let me, let me move it back here. Oh. There we go. Nice. Nice going. Uh, Bunker. Uh, this guy looks pissed. And he starts firing at you. I shoot uh, across by your back. I presume, uh, because this is a dreamscape, uh, and he need not apply. Um. As a player, but, uh, if I have yeah. to, I will. Yeah, make a, make a roll for me real quick. Oh, as, uh, okay. Yeah, make a, make a standard attack roll for me. If you're gone. I'm so, oh my god, I can't believe it. I have to shoot my own fucking character. Okay, interesting, interesting, cool. Um, <laughs> so, you start firing at him, it doesn't do anything uh, to him. Uh, he's looking at you. Floundering between duty, huh? What is your duty is... anyway? My duty. This is just a job. Once this is done, we could just go out of the desert and just. Do you really have some sort of code going on? Because at first it was for the Emperor, and you left those comrades behind. 
sense of they morality. They killed me. They and ruined you should have us. Died. I should have, but they did do a good enough job. Then what's keeping you going? Like, you just. You're not even a person. You're a slate. You go from one place to another and adjust your moral code accordingly. Your only duty is to yourself. And your duty's just as messed fucked up as your face. And it smells too. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Hey, hey. Uh, roll for emotional damage. <laughs> How much emotional damage you got here? <laughs> um, at the moment, uh, uh, 11 billion, your dad, roll new character, uh, damn. Bunk Bunker, what's your response to that? Uh, I basically... <laughs> Uh, like, kind of get mad at, kind of go off, like, things are finally turning out well. I actually have people that can tolerate me, and as I, like, wrestle him to the ground, his helmet falls off. And I see what has become of me. This horrible wreck of a man with a metal jaw, like, patched work together somehow. Why am I still alive? I should have just died. Like you said. It was my job, but I keep going. And Bunker, someone appears in your dream. Um Hell. There's an eighteen hit your your defense. It does. All right, you took uh, nine. Uh, how much damage is that, Austin? All together. Nine plus seventeen, twenty-six. Yeah, you took twenty-six damage because Bunker shot you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, Hal, you uh, you manage to sort of open the little. You find you find Bunker after you. have Get shot through through this your the side of your back. Uh, and you oh, wait, see one more time. How much damage was it? Twenty six. Okay, I got it recorded. All right, Bunker. You see how flailing in a in a containment tube, basically. Um, what the fuck is happening? And you open it up, I look back. <laughs> and you touch Bunker, and you appear in that same sort of dreamscape, and you see uh, Bunker wrestling uh, this weird, deformed version of Bunker to the ground. Uh, you see your friend is a mess, Hal. What do you do? I say, quick, to say something only the real Bunker would say. I want to kill myself. I, I look to the other one, and and what do you say? He should. I say, well, there we go, and I I, I bring my axe down on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so the one the one without the helmet on, the 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 imposter. Yeah. Who do you wait this time? You get away with it this time. Yeah. So, uh, By the way, Bunker, just, uh, him, for the him say, players. Bunker, I just want to point out something. Hal, how would Hal know that Bunker uh, wouldn't say that? Because there's, like, a part of him just telling him to keep going. 
like it could get better in the end. He just has to see it. And uh, the 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 way I took it is is that uh, I've never seen uh, Bunker tell someone that they should kill themselves before. I don't think that's a very Bunker thing to do. And I'm not I, I'm not so sure. What about the last guy? <laughs> well, I'm not sure yeah, that in say... this particular case, into where like like. Uh, yeah, like if someone was like a slime ball, yes, maybe Bunker would tell them to go kill themselves. Bunker, uh, uh, but... Bunker has never told anyone to kill themselves. He's offered yeah. to do it for them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, number one, I've also never seen Bunker. Well, I think actually I, I did see you once without your helmet, right? You man. Either man. way, um. I know you generally don't take it off for no reason. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I feel like it makes sense. Also, one of them was sad and the other was angry. And my guy was angry, too. All right. And, uh... Upon realizing that, and Hal going in for another chop, Hal, uh, you managed to chop the, uh, like, the the tubes connecting Hal's helmet together. Uh. What? You mean Bunker? Yeah, I'm sorry, keeping, uh, Bunker's helmet together, and you both appear, uh, in that room again. Bunker is, like, I'm so sorry. If I ever did to you under the empire, I'm so sorry. Um, Hal, uh, Hal says, um, uh, look, uh, we can live off of hate and regret, uh, or we can try and move on. Uh, I've got a demon living inside of me right now. Uh, that's a more pressing issue, and you're one of the few people that I know that could put me down if I go out of control. Uh, so how about you stay around at least until, uh, that's resolved? Yeah, that's fair. Also, where the hell are we? I look around, I'm like, well, a 50-50 shot, uh, we're on the ghost ship. Uh, the other 50 ship? is, um... We're dead. Or, I guess, or anywhere else, really, actually. In fact, actually, funny enough, we might still be in a dream sequence. Uh, hold on. But uh, we definitely shouldn't shoot ourselves in the face just yet. In order to try and wake up. Uh, are there any other tubes in this in this uh, room? Roll me a uh, double insight. One of you, a one can assist. Um, I have eight insight. I also have eight, so I'll, I'll assist you. Uh, you roll it. All right. Not enough for a bonus. Okay. Eight. We're gonna cut to eleven. Yeah, eleven. We're going to cut to uh, Bro. Bro, you wake up and see this uh, copy of you in front of you. Or at least, you know, your person form. Uh, Bro, uh, it opens its mouth and a larger, more intimidating form of your worm body, uh, you know, starts speaking to you. Why haven't you eat them? 
Do you know how much how much nutrients you should have gotten? It would have given you backups. Instead, you're still using this old, worthless model. And the giant worm version of this uh, sort of like causes this thing to almost burst the, the this body that looks like the one you are piloting to almost burst at the seams. I'm tired of explaining this. It's more beneficial to be with these with these people. It's more beneficial to work with people and just kill and consume one by one alone. I'm tired of being alone. And you see the human underneath Almost underneath this giant worm body you see in front of you, fight back, like it's constricting this worm down to the point where the mouth it's coming out of starts closing, and it bites off this giant worm body that you see. It bites it off, it wriggles around on the ground, and dies leaving this woman behind who then looks at you and goes you should have been alone you took my life I had a future do you know who I was? I have some of your memories. You have some of my memories. I want them back. I want my life back. You took that from me. That wasn't yours. That's not your body. I'm still in there. I'm barely alive. You took everything I was. You've abused me. Taken away my autonomy. My free will. Is for your purpose so you can bring your, your little worms back? I should have never found you. I should have never opened that jar. I should have left you in that jar to rot. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, is my grimoire still going or did I lose yes, that? Yes, actually. Um, can I try and use that question now? Yes. What's happening? Your, uh, the grimoire, uh, your mother, uh, answers back to you. Or at least, the, you know, this, you get an answer back. This is a simulation. It is to, those captured by the ghost ship uh, are taken prisoner. They use a mind-altering effect on the outside of the boat as a last resort. They abduct those, teleporting them inside of the ship. And then they break them down emotionally as they rot away in tubes. I meant, why do I feel s guilty? And then I am. Um, I'm gonna try and teleport out. Alright. Um, roll me uh, a double insight here. Mm 
the before you can teleport away she grabs onto you don't ask it why you feel guilty ask me uh um i'm gonna try and whack it with my satchel get it to let go of me all right roll double will Or whatever your staff attack is. Oh. That, that's actually the more appropriate rule. I apologize. I mean, that's still double will. It's when will insight. Oh, okay. Whatever. Did you roll? Oh, there it is. Yep. yep. All right. Get get off. All right. And. Uh, so twelve. That's twenty-two. Twenty-two. Damage. All right. Um. Bunker, uh, you find Barreau mostly because a big blast of magic hits you. You take 22, uh, what type of damage is it? It's physical. It just whacked with the staff. Okay. Um, oh, if it's a melee... Yeah, no, you break the outside of your container. You can almost see the outside world, and you see your friends uh, out in the distance. Uh, at least Bunker and Hal. They're sort of like transparent way in the background. Bunker is getting into sniping position. Which one do I shoot? <laughs> uh, you don't. You don't actually see her vision, Bunker. Okay. You see Burrow in a tube, freaking out, fighting. Mm. Uh, you can definitely try to get them out. Okay. Yeah. Now Bunker basically. Helps undo the cords and everything. Roll me, just roll to... me a double might check. Bunker activates his ability of his new gains of now having a d10 and might. Now, Dan, uh, you... That's an opportunity. All right. Uh, you uh do you want to enter this to make Barreau feel better? <laughs> so or no. It's up to you. Yeah, you can say no. Would you prefer I don't spud in to your moment? Uh because I understand. Uh no. If you want to. I don't know, this seems like your big seed. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say, I mean, this is Burrell sort of asking for help, kind of. Yeah. Um, um you, the, you then see Bunker just, like... He is now opaque instead of transparent. Yeah, and then he <laughs> snipes the lady. <laughs> uh, she shot on the ground... <laughs> and then Bunker basically you, you're rushes up the like you're... you're going to vilify me? I don't even know you. In fact, this person has this lady here has left more of an impression on me than you ever would. I actually have a, a, a duty because of her. I'd rather see these people, like what her species can offer us. 
because I've seen what people have done, and I'm going to be honest, not impressed. And, and then Bunker, uh, basically. And what do you do, Bunker? Head on shoulder, like, let's get out of here. You don't need to listen Bunker, to this lady. You give ha you give Barrow a big hug and pull them out of the machine. Uh with the opportunity I'm gonna say that's gonna negate any dazed or shaken defect you would have gotten. Um, okay. From just being yanked out. Bro hugging him back and crying. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. I I was crying too. Oh, there, we have to worry about bracket. We really know. <laughs> I'm sure he's oh, alright. It's my job. <laughs> See, I'm in the most in my tragic backstory. It's tragic. so sad. Tragic backstory. I, I really kind of hope, like, we all get into his thing, and it's just him and his his other self, and they're just sh shaking hands, talking about how awesome they are. <laughs> like a fucking nigga Scott scenario is like <laughs> having lunch on Thursday. All right, uh, Brecken. Okay. Uh, you see this guy, uh, who looks exactly like you, except his mustache is back. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Yours isn't. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's fine. I, I thought I wanted to, I put my hand up, like, at least one of us, at least one of us can strive. Uh, he starts acting real goofy. <laughs> hey, Brecken, how you doing? I'm doing fine, how are you? He slaps your face. Oh, you think I was fucking serious? No yeah. one gives a shit about you. I do. You're a fucking joke. The only reason people actually care about you is because you took all your brother's money. You're just a rich boy playing pretend. Hmm. Fucking I acting. To, I was pretending to be you, you fucking child. I don't think we're pretending. Oh, people are pretending. You know it. No. You're uh, a liability. Why don't you think? Why don't you think Ari listens to you, or Bunker? Because okay, Bunker listens to me. Bunker barely listens to you. But he listens. He's barely uh, paying attention. If it wasn't for the helmet, you would be able to tell. Mm, agree to disagree. But as for Ari, I mean, she is from a very, very... She does have her own background, and honestly, it's fine that she doesn't have to listen to me. Aren't you supposed uh, to be the leader? Yeah, yeah, and... Um... We do our we do our best. I don't think we're really pretending because I mean, if we were really pretending, if we were really pretending, we wouldn't have been lying dead in the, dead in the fucking uh. You've what been, was it again? Yeah, we we've been, been we've been everywhere. You've been we've you've been, only started we've, learning how to fight almost a year into this. Yeah, and remember like remember the very first fight we had? I fucking did a fucking pole vault into it. I did a pole vault into a mech. And that went so well. It was amazing. I took a laser to the face. Uh, that character building right there. It's amazing that you're not dead. I know. And I put my arm around him like, and don't you think that's amazing that we that? No. Why not? No, because you should be yeah. dead. We In should fact, be. Your we incompetence should be. has not only led to your endangerment, but the endangerment of your friends. You fucking bought a luck uh, a luck coin 
thinking it was a good luck coin. Let's be honest, you thought it was a good luck coin. It worked a couple times. Let's not be. Let's not. Let's not lie to ourselves. We did, we have we have that had a bad streak. But that's life. It's just been one bad streak, though. One long bad streak. I now look at you. Own. You're the one thing you take pride in. My is mustache destroyed. Yes, but you had it, and I'm always happy. You have it, and there's that's like one wrecking with a mustache. All right, one is not zero. I'm going to point something out to you. Yeah. Why do you think you're on the wanted poster? I'm awesome. No. Why are you on a Bal Hadad wanted poster? Hmm. I don't quite know. When's the last time you sent your brother one of the payments? Hmm. I guess it has been a while. I'm going to tell you right now, you haven't since you started. Hmm. That's a very hard point. I forgot about it. Do you think your brother is going to be happy when they see you? Hmm. You know, there might be there might be some resentment there. I cannot deny that. The bounty I has gone to twenty thousand. Twenty thousand five hundred. And do you think that's going? the one person in your family who believed in you mm-hmm. and you took the money and ran to play hero I mean think about your father here he already doesn't like you we both know he doesn't like you mm. yeah he's gonna okay. dislike you even more I guess I just like even in the face of that I can't help but feel like they were going to take it. it's just even a, though nothing just has a, so far I like I said it, I'm pretty sure that's a perspective thing I think things are fine and I just think it's a moment even though it's things are not fine you're being they're not fine now but they will get fine later. How do you know that? I don't. But it's something to strive for. It's something to work towards. It's not a guarantee, I'll give you that. But it's not like I can just, oh, woe is me, give up hope. That's just not who we are. Now, come on. Well, you're stuck here with me. I'm going to naysay you for the rest of your life until all the energy is drained out of you. Me, me, like, 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 like again, all around the shores, like, yeah, y- yeah, you and everyone else. I'm sorry. I just feel like this version, like the evil one, is just gonna have the hardest time with Brecken. It's just like I'm trying to make you depressed. No, Brecken, the only thing that made him depressed was losing his mustache. Everything else is like, oh, we're fine. We're doing great. <laughs> like, but even even flashing back to, like, the fucking Empress, like, launching in the air, like, flying and falling face down to the floor. It's like, yeah, no, we're fine. I can't believe it. It's Brecken without the obliviousness. It's just evil Brecken. He's more self-aware. Or, I'm sorry, self-conscious. <laughs> You fucking joke. And, uh... Hey. Hal, you see... You you find Brecken's tube. Does does Brecken look any different from when you first got in, like, even wizard at all? 
Um, by the way, I want to point out something with uh, Hal. Uh huh. Um, Hal, uh, does Hal shave in the morning? Um, uh, I'm gonna say yes. Hal, you feel your face and there is a beard there. Like, how much of a beard? Like, kind of thick. Oh. Like. That's a beard beard. Yeah, like a beard beard. Like, you haven't shaved in a few days. Uh. You also, uh. Also looking around, how you see other tubes here of just dried up husks here as well. Um, and you finally see uh, Brecken, uh, Brecken's tube. He looks relaxed in his... Which, you know, not the most fun. Yeah, I uh, I try and pull him out. All right, roll me a uh, double double might here. Uh, ignore the plus four. So that's a fourteen. All right. Yeah, you managed to pull uh, Brecken out with uh, Brecken. You are you are dazed uh, for the next uh, two scenes. Um, let me let me do what Hal let me do what Hal did and let me drink uh, let me drink a potion for that. So Hal uh, pulls out off the equipment uh, stuck to you. Oh man, where you go? And you find yourself, Brecken, uh, in this giant, uh, giant room. Uh, Brecken, uh, you feel your face. Actually, you man, Brecken, you look down and the mirror-like floor reveals what your face looks like. Your mustache has grown back. There however, are stars in his eyes. However, you also have quite a long beard. His 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 brain's essentially exploding right now. And... Wait, how how does Bracken have the beard? How long have we been in here? And what? That's where we're gonna end for tonight. Actually, I wanted to say I want I actually wanted to say Bracken. Would Bre if Brecken would be able to know exactly how long it takes for his mustache to grow? Uh, I would say I would say with how fond he is of it, he knows exact he knows the day of when it reaches full peak mustache. I'm going to say you wouldn't know quite. Uh, uh it's straight. I don't know. Because Brecken seems like as soon as he was able to grow it, he just let it grow. Yeah, you like know, you had your mustache when you were five years old, so you've never needed to grow it out. Understood. <laughs> You're right. Silly of me. <laughs> you do know you, Brecken, grow facial hair relatively quickly. Mm. Like, you're the kind of person who... Uh, when you get a five o'clock shadow, it is a five o'clock shadow. 
Oh, wow. That is quick. Yeah, you are shaving once before, uh, once in the morning and once in the evening. That is a Brecken routine. Uh. Proper face grooming is the sign of a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, you guys look upon the giant room before you. Uh, wondering where to go next. And, you know, trying to, uh, walk off this horrible, uh, you know, this horrible experience you all had to go through. Oh. At least for B Bunker and Burrow. But yeah. Uh, next time, uh, we will continue with the ghost ship. I'm Boosh slash Connor slash Who Gives a Fuck. Uh, you can find me on uh, Discord. Uh, join our Discord. Um. You know, you I thought find, we were doing tags in the bio. Uh, tags in the bio. You can find all of all of our links there. However, Tom, do you have a plug for today? Um. Uh, yes, I do. Um, my plug for today is going out into the woods and giving peanut butter to raccoons. I feel like it should be pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, no, it is. All right, so goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.